Uh, the fundamental job of any Canadian Prime Minister is to hold this country together, to gra gather us together and move forward in the right way. Hi, I'm Warren Kinsella. Welcome to the War Room. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to give some free advice, some free War Room advice to Justin Trudeau, because God knows he needs it. Last week we saw, in the wake of the release of the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls report, Justin Trudeau say it was not genocide. Then he said, we accept the finding that this was genocide. It was genocide, and then a couple days later he arrived at the position of maybe it was genocide. So we think that Justin may need some communications tips. And this week, it all relates to his announcement about single-use plastics. What do you and your family do to cut back on plastics? Uh, we, uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic, uh, sorry, away from plastic towards uh, paper, um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. There's, there's a number. So, Justin, listen in. Five tips. Number one, when you have a message, get it right. Don't have it mangle. Don't have it sounding like a word salad. And that's what Justin Trudeau did. As a matter of fact, he made Stockwell Day when he arrived in the shores in BC some years ago in a jet ski wearing a wetsuit. He made Stockwell Day sound like Winston Churchill. Number two, timing. Justin Trudeau made his announcement and his office was saying it was going to be a big announcement on the same day as the biggest sporting event in Canadian history, the day where the Raptors could have gone ahead of the Warriors. If you've got a big announcement to make, don't do it on a day when you have lots of competition. Number three, you could have made the announcement, Justin, a long time before now. As a matter of fact, the European Union made all of their changes about single-use plastics some time ago. Why did you wait until now, until the 11th hour, when you're just over 100 days from an election campaign? It looks and sounds desperate. Number four, announce something that we can all agree upon. One of the things that people seized upon after Trudeau's announcement was drinking straws. Well, for example, we heard from parents of autistic kids saying, my kid needs plastic straws. That's how he or she consumes liquids. If you get rid of that, Mr. Trudeau, how is my kid going to get by? What he should have focused on is something we can all agree upon, which is cigarette butts. They're unsightly, they're the biggest source of pollution, and they're also made out of plastic. Why didn't he focus on that? You got me. Final piece of advice, don't be hypocritical. Right after Trudeau made his announcement, the internet was full of pictures of Justin Trudeau holding plastic water bottles recently. Not only that, there was an access of information request that came in showing that Trudeau and his family in just a single month had spent $300 on plastic water bottles. So Justin, you got to practice what you preach and you got to have message discipline and this week you didn't do either. I'm Warren Kinsella from The War Room. If you've got comments, we'd love to hear them. Send it to us on Twitter, send it to us on Facebook, and thanks for tuning in.